Love the helmet of that guy, it's wicked. Shoot off. Start that standing there and we watched Rick do the um, demonstration lap and the way he handled the car was very impressive. I'm really focusing on his technique and just getting as much as I possibly can to be able to take into my run. I was sitting there watching Rick and I was picking up his brake point markers and his gear shift and I'm trying to pick up as much as I can. The Winton track is quite a tricky little track, like the average speed in general is pretty low because there's so many corners obviously, so you don't get a lot of time for rest. And it is quite a technical little track as well, the curb profiles mean that most places you can't touch the curb without it upsetting the car. The key to the sweeper is to carry the speed as far into the corner as you can and so I'm only just using the curb just to unsettle a little, little bit and get around the understeer um, on the way in as far as you can. The thing with the place is it's so finicky that you really need to kind of back it off and try and be smooth and precise and just get all the little things right and get your entries right and make sure you're patient when you pick up the throttle and have really good smooth applications everywhere and then the time will just come. When you start to really hustle the car, the, the whole thing just seems to go backwards around here. The trend of the car here is late mid-corner understeer and initial throttle oversteer. So you need to trail the brake in a lot so you have a nice big application and slow the car up. And then when you turn in, you are got to release the brake pedal because you're unweighting the inside frame. Then carry your braking a long way into the corner to try and just maintain that little bit of weight on the front of the car to help you get rid of some of that understeer. So whether it's wet or dry, just know the limitations and be sure on your brake markers. Be confident but cautious with your brakes.